Hello, my dears. My name is Mariana and welcome to my channel. So I just wanted to keep things a little bit more casual today. I just felt like being a little bit more in the real world and like offering you guys stuff that has been helpful for me on my journey and might be really great on yours. If you haven't already followed me on Instagram, make sure to do that. I post all the time witchy tips and deep wisdoms, and I think it would really be a beautiful addition to your feed. And also make sure to subscribe so that you don't miss my amazing videos when they come out. And I'm really trying to recommend that if you've been following me a little bit or you like just this kind of content, you like what I do, Go check me out on Patreon. My Patreon is filling up a little bit. I have very limited quantities of um, many of my tiers. And so if you're interested in getting like really um, supportive readings or magical things and you like my style, go check it out now before it fills up so that you get all the goodies and there's many, many goodies. So I will see you there. So today I just want to share with you a few of my most favorite witchy products, products that I use a lot um, in my workings, in just my daily experience, and stuff you might want to check out. So yeah, and before I forget, all the things that I'm sharing with you today are by small business owners. I think it's super important to shop small to support small business. So this is not like the most well-rounded list of all time, um, but it's the stuff that I love and it's my channel so I can do what I want. Okay, so I am not much of a witchy witch. <laughs> my witchcraft tends to be very intellectual um, and, you know, very basic sometimes. And sometimes it's just the simple things that are the most like fundamentally good for our practice. So the first one I want to share is Candles by Spiritualista Boutique. It's really nice. This candle is so cool. It is for Persephone um, and there's a lot of other offerings there that are different goddesses, different energies. I also have a mystic one from Spiritualista Boutique. These are just so amazing. They are wood wick burning candles so that you really get this kind of grounded earthy feeling when you're lighting them. And I think if you work with any kind of deity, um, it's really nice to have like a specific candle that you can light for that deity. Obviously I work with Persephone sometimes. So this is a really important candle for me. I light this whenever I really need to feel like I'm connecting to my business or I'm connecting to being this sort of psychopomp between the underworld and the conscious world. And it's just, it's a really cool one that I enjoy greatly. So highly recommend. This next candle is by the Moon Den, and the Moon Den's candles smell literally like what I imagine heaven might smell like. Oh, it's really nice. These candles come in a whole bunch of different sizes, and what I really like about them is that they burn really nicely, first of all, which if you're a candle person, you know that that's really hard <laughs> to find sometimes. But they are there are so many different candles for so many different purposes, um, for where you are in your spiritual journey, for what kinds of intentions you want to set. I like the mystic candle because I often identify as a mystic. If you go back into like my old high school notebooks, you'll find uh, you'll find many different mystic names I made up for myself back then because. I was so cool. I just connect with the word a lot. So I really like lighting this candle if I'm doing any kind of creative work. It reminds me that my creative work is tied to my sense of mysticism. So I just really, really highly recommend the Moon Den, just checking out all their offerings. They're, there's so many different kinds of candles. They all smell so good. I got a few samples and I was just like, wow. <laughs> Delicious. I can't. I love a good smelling candle. My sense of smell is out of control. Um, and this is a real fact about me. I can smell things I don't think other people can smell. <laughs> it's not always a gift. Anyway, just some information about me you didn't want or need. Okay, so let's move on to um, something else that people don't usually think about as like witchy products, but is really important to me, which is jewelry. I love jewelry. I wear a lot of jewelry, obviously not during quarantine because I ain't got nothing to prove now, but I really like to wear things that um, encourage whatever kind of spell or magical like intention I'm holding at the moment. I got this one um, a couple years ago, I wanna say, um, and it was just such a delight that I bought one for like all the 
beautiful people in my life. So this is a necklace by Your Moon Phase. And on this necklace is the phase of the moon um, under which you were born. And then you can also attach like your birthstone. And I have a little saying on the back that's important to me, sail on silver girl, which is, you know, from my beloved Paul Simon. I'm a, I'm a huge Paul Simon fan. Today's video is just you learning things about me. <laughs> um, I am so obsessed with Paul Simon um, and Simon and Garfunkel in general that I have seen him in concert five times. And um, I've seen maybe no one else in concert. <laughs> it's just Paul Simon, five times. Um, so these are just these are just absolutely gorgeous necklaces, and I think that they're really beautiful gifts to give to people. Um, but whenever I'm really doing some moon work, whenever I'm really connecting to my Cancer Moon, I have a Cancer Moon, or I'm connecting to you know the lunar cycle I'm in, I wear this necklace to remind myself of this this lunar work I'm doing, this connection. So highly recommend this um, and using this as a little reminder, uh, a little charm to bring you back to the moon within. I also, um, I'm just like a necklace person in general, but I also absolutely love this necklace that I'm wearing today. This is um, a necklace that has the star card on it. And this is by Satya Jewelry. So this is maybe a little bit of a larger company than the other ones, but they're still fairly small. Um, and it's a little bit more expensive too. They're, it's, I think like real gold, like they use real materials. So the price reflects that, but it's, very much worth it. I highly recommend. And I really like this star card necklace because my birthday is on the 17th of the month of November. And so I kind of connect to it pretty deeply. So I like to wear this card to remind myself of like my primal connection to the star, to life, to hope. And it's a really just little beautiful spell to wear to kind of bring me back into myself. So yeah, this is just a super fun little witchy gift to give yourself. Okay, now let's move into some more spelly stuff. And as I said, I don't really do a lot of like hardcore spells. So there's not gonna be like mugwort or anything here. <laughs> so the first thing I have here is from a little shop in New York City, a small tiny shop that is just absolutely so cool called Enchantments. And they sell online, so you can definitely get their stuff online. Um, if you are in the tri-state area though, I highly recommend going and checking out their shop. It is such a fun way to kind of spend like an hour just browsing all the things they have. Little, little spellcraft ASMR. So they have little spell kits and I really like these because as I said, I'm not necessarily very good at deciding how to create a spell or saying, okay, let me get a pinch of this, a pinch of that. It gives you the opportunity to invest in some magic without the burden of trying to figure out, um, you know, how to advance your witchcraft skills like right now in this moment, right? Sometimes it takes time to grow. It's an easy way to kind of do the magic quickly, set the intention without kind of getting wrapped up in like, wait, what kind of incense do I burn? Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. <laughs> so this spell kit is like a little like confidence boosting spell kit. So it comes with some carved candles that have like carved intentions on it. It also comes with different incenses that to burn while I'm like doing the spell and a little bit of sacred oil to anoint myself with, to anoint the candles with. And it's just a sweet little kit. So I'll pick these up whenever I know I have a, spe a specific intention that I'm trying to set. Um, and they have so many different ones. They have ones for like academic success and ones for love, all sorts of things. So next I have this goddess power oil from House Freya. House Freya is a little brick and mortar in New Jersey, but they have a very robust online shop. So I highly recommend checking them out. They have great candles too. They literally used one of their candles, uh, abundance candle and within like 10 minutes, I made like a hundred dollars. <laughs> it was just so random. So that's a good one to get. But this goddess power oil is super, um, grounding. It is delicious. Can you tell that most of my stuff just smells good? I'm starting to realize this right now. I've never thought about this before. All of my witchcraft is basically how pleasant it is to my olfactory sense, which is maybe not the best qualifying factor, but you know, whatever. It's my witchcraft. Uh, so this oil I tend to put on whenever I really need to feel empowered, whenever I really need to be grounded in the divine feminine. Before I teach a seminar or before I hold like a new moon circle, I'll put this oil on. It'll really help me ground down. And it's also just makes me feel really beautiful. Um, it kind of has that glamour magic effect. So this is one of my faves. So finally, I've mentioned this one before on my channel, but um, 
I, I'm just gonna mention again because it's literally my favorite thing. Um, these are the Healing Mist Sprays by Conjure Wellness. And there's a bunch of different kinds of sprays. There's like a smudge spray, a prosperity spray. Um, I have the Scents and Create spray. I also have Relax, which sometimes I'll spray right before I go to sleep. Um, but basically these are Reiki infused um, sprays that are filled with essential oils. They have crystals in them um, and so they're just really enhancing for whatever intention you have. More ASMR. So for example, in the scent spray, I'll spray this right before I do a reading for somebody over my uh, crown and third eye to really help myself kind of feel like my intuitive you know, senses are enhanced. And I'll use the crate spray whenever I'm writing, if I'm doing some poetry that day, if I'm just being in my creative power, um, this really makes me feel, it's like sets the mood immediately um, and really brings me right into that space. And so it's it's very exciting that these work so well. They're just really infused beautifully with uh, very curated ingredients. And I deeply recommend them. They're just very cool. Um, and they're a very easy way to kind of set an intention, do a little bit light spell work without getting too deep into anything. Um, so yeah. Okay, my friends, so those are just seven of the witchy products I use on a daily basis from small creators um, that I really trust and I really want to promote and I think deserve a lot of attention because they make such high quality, beautiful things. Everything is linked in the description below. And if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe, make sure to follow me on Instagram and go check out Patreon, go see what I offer, go see if anything resonates with you. And I hope to see you there. Have a beautiful, meaningful day.